Okay, so this next piece of software is really good and I like it a lot, but it is quite niche. It's digital certificates you can send out to people. Before you turn off, I'm sure you know somebody who could find this useful or you might be able to find uses to it when I explain. Because uh, initially I was thinking this is just going to be for, you know, universities and schools to send out serious certificates or for businesses to send out, you know, course certificates. But then I got thinking about it. There's a lot of fun stuff you could use this for. You know, if you have a sports club or a cub group, or an after-school club, or anything. Even me doing my smartphone quizzes in pubs could send out certificates to the winners. And once you've set it up, and it's really easy then, once you set it up, just to bang in an email address and a name and send out the certificate. That's where it comes into its own, especially if you want to bulk send certificates. So uh, just before we jump in, uh, please could you subscribe to the channel? Is that where I've got to pause and go, hey, subscribe to my channel, which I'm really bad at. But no, seriously, if you do subscribe, it really helps me out. I'm getting there with my numbers and I'm really, really happy. But also, I've been finding some really great short-term deals recently. And as soon as I find one that's sort of not around for a long time, I make a quick video. So if you want to find out about the best deals that might be disappearing very quickly, uh, just click that notification button as you subscribe. Thank you. Right, here we go. Let's jump in and look at Certify Me. Okay, so this is Certify Me. As your starting point, this is what you will do. This is the second time I've made my video because I made it all the way through and made a really good one and then realised my mic was turned off. Anyway, moving along and the good news is for you now, I know exactly what I'm doing. So this will be a better demonstration video. When you make your first template, you put the program RAM details. So this is basically what's going to be the name of the qualification. Certified reviewer of software and other stuff. The is issuing institution. Uh, so you can really make this advanced well as advanced or as simple as you want but if you are doing serious re rewards for your business or qualifications you can add everything into it i just put fun stuff in here like the ability to sound they know what they're talking about while reviewing software you don't really understand <laughs> there is some software there was one about is the one that where you can create your own ai experiments the other day and it's absolutely amazing but did i understand it some of it uh your signatory name so i'm going to put phil reviews in there uh, and then the earning criteria so you can make that as advanced as you want. And once you've done that, you edit your credential template image and click on this. And this is really good because there's the one that initially it comes with. But they've obviously done a deal with Canva. Quite a few software companies uh, have integrated Canva uh, into their design so that you can go and find a certificate you, re you really like. All right. So I was just telling you, by the way, I have just made a video on Canva and how I make all my thumbnails with Canva. And it is fantastic. I went around the houses trying to make thumbnails quickly and easily. And then I found Canva. And wow. So have a look at that video. Just search for Canva in my channel. Um, you do need the pro version because you need to use the thing that removes the background. So I take little pictures of me in my screen recording software like, hi, and then remove the background image and it just works. So check that out. It's a great video. Uh, and you've got a free, free trial. Enough of that. Here we go. So there's a certificate. We're going to use this one. And in Canva, yes, you can change all the colors. So if you don't want that brown, you can change it to the channel. And if you don't want that, you can see change that and change everything about it. Now, in Canva, what you do is you get rid of everything that you don't want to appear on every certificate. So any fields that will be, um, you know, like different people's names, different certificates. So get rid of the signature. I'm going to put my signature there, Phil. Oh, Canva does have an undo button, doesn't it? Yes, uh, I am the channel owner. All right, and we're going to put change that to date. Right, so there's your certificate. Are you happy with that? You can change. Uh, obviously, I'm going to change that for smashing there. Smashing, no. All right, <laughs> for reviewing software. I feel I've got to say, oh, oh, no, I can't think of anything else to put. That'll do. Reviewing software. All right, my brain. My, oh, I think I wrote, I wrote someone really good on the last one, but that'll do. Uh, so there's my certificate of completion. Yeah, I can change the color of the text there, make that a bit more, uh, okay, more fitting with my channel, which is. See what I mean? You can make it look like your own. And when you're happy with your certificate, take your time, make it look really good. Um, within Canva, I would suggest you actually do this within Canva rather than within the software. Uh, you could add, you could upload your own company logo uh, or your college or your school's logo. You can add everything and just get it to that point where everything is there with gaps for the bits that you're going to change on each certificate, e.g. the recipient's name, my name and the date and click publish. And this will re-import it back into certify, certify Me. And there is your certificate. While you are still in this stage, if you wanted to, you can add text, more text to it, but I wouldn't do that. Uh, or the QR code, or you could sign and, and import the logo. I would do all that in Canva, but that's up to you uh, to have a play with that. Uh, but what you will use is the attributes because 
where this software comes into its own is the ability to do things in bulk. So uh, there's the recipient's name and you drag it so that it fits above the line. The channel owner is going to be me. So we're going to put signatory name and put that there and slide it over. And then we're going to have the date, issue date, and we're going to slide the date and we're going to make sure that that fits in. Yeah, I know it's when I did it before. I probably left it like that and the date was cut off a bit. So so do have it so it fits in. We'll find out if that rectifies it before, later. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you go for it. OK, and then you click save. Where'd you click save there? I think that's it done, isn't it? Yeah, that is saved. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to lose it now, now I've done it. Is it just saved like that? I'll click back. I hope I don't lose it now. I'll get annoyed. Yep, it is. It's okay. And then you click. There are some premium features. So if you actually, you know, when you when you pay up for it, you will be able to add a marketing banner, banner image. So, so these things that you'll be able to add, let me explain quickly. And it is really good. Um... You will be able to add this. So when people get the email, it'll take them to a little page where people can view the certificate. And on that certificate, because bear in mind, they might be sharing the certificate with other people on LinkedIn and they'll be sharing the link to your branding page. So think of the use of this, if not just as awarding certificates, but also as marketing, that you can put your marketing image in it. You can put your own unique video in it, a message, a call to action. So you can actually generate business from awarding these certificates, if that makes sense. Uh, but once you've done all that, you click save the mic credentials and now uh, we're at this page now where we can award this credential uh let's just double check here award with all details so name of the awardee uh you can do it the quick way or you can do it like this uh the only thing i'm not sure now is if is if i've set up my um my name as a signature but we'll double check on it so the quick way to do it is just to put the name so we're going to award the certificate let's make up a random name um billy no mates okay and i'll send it to my email all right so that's a quick way just to do a quick award so if you are doing a course or i was just thinking just for a quiz night very quickly so say i've got a winning team at my smartphone quiz and i just want to give them an award just while i'm logged on on the laptop i quickly go on to certify me and i put the name of the awardee put the team name of the team there what's your email address and they will receive this certificate and obviously then tell them to share it etc uh, and i'll click award and that will have sent it through okay you can also upload a csv file which will have all of the attributes in that you've created here and you can create a bulk award or you can award it with as many details as you want to so say you want to give someone personal you know well done philip you did really well certificate number you know passport number you can add as much as you want to the award but now let's just jump into my email and let's see how it works because this is actually another good bit all right so i've got a new award Woo! I've got an email that certificate wow that course i did so then you click on the link and yes you see, it's good, isn't it? So I've clicked on the link and I've got my certificate. There's my name. That's my signatory. And obviously, so it might be different people in your organization who want to sign that. And you can change all of that within it. And today's date. So that has worked. And they can then share that certificate. So they've got the certificate and they can either add it to their Instagram, not Instagram, LinkedIn profile. Uh, they can download the certificate as a PDF. Let's just click download and open it up. And there you go. They've got the certificate. So then they could print it out if they wanted to. I'm liking this software a lot. And uh, the more I'm thinking about it, it's actually not that niche. It could be used for a lot of things. Um, now, if you want to, if you've sent this link to somebody and they're thinking, oh, he's just forged his certificate, All right? You can click verify it and put the email address. Say, say you want to verify it to make sure it's right. Uh, Put, your e put my email address in and it will verify it. Click verify and... Welcome to Ta -da! Verify, the world's credential most has been successfully verified using email ID. Unlike old and as I was saying before, once you are fully subscribed, so if you wanted to use this of your as a business because you know people are going to be sharing this certificate with other people, you could have your banner at the top, you could have rest. your video appearing here, plus your, your link and everything. Okay, so um, that's why I think it's pretty and cool. Money. And I can tell you why I'm quite excited about it as I jump out and give you my final thoughts uh, here we go here's my final thoughts okay so my final thoughts on certify me and i've just had to redo this because while editing the video i realized that that video was playing back on the certificate page <laughs> i'm not going to take anything away from certify me for that because when you do it and you use it you'll probably put your own video up there or uh, you won't have a video but yes uh I recommend it. I like it a lot. And I can tell that I like it a lot because while making the video at the end there, I was thinking in my little brain, how can I use this in my business? How can I give people certificates? Because I saw the potential of not just giving out the certificates, but the marketing side of it, that page and sharing it on LinkedIn. So 
I like it a lot. Really good. Um, and you can make those certificates really advanced if it's a proper qualification for a university or a school or a business diploma or just for fun certificates for sports day, for um, fun stuff like, I don't know, Cub Scouts, sports clubs, anything like that, or for people like me who have a little business where you might want to give out certificates. So, yes, highly recommended. Have a look at the link in description because it's a good deal link. And thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. What? You're still not subscribed? Click that subscribe button. Every time I release a video, it might be a really cool deal that is ending soon. You'll get a notification and uh, you can check it out. And I will see you soon with another one.